breaking news. Stop Tinumbu's swearing in. Five FCT residents hodge courts. You're welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. A fresh lawsuit has been submitted to the Federal High Court in Abuja asking for a ruling that would forbid Ashuraju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu from taking the oath of office as the next leader of Nigeria. Tinumbu is expected to be sworn in by the Independent National Electoral Commission, HINEC, on May 29. Tinumbu was declared the winner of the presidential election on the All Progressives Congress APC platform on February 25. Candidates from other parties assert that Tinumbu did not win the presidential election despite being acknowledged by INEC, despite ongoing proceedings at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. Five residents of the FF City have petitioned the Abuja branch of the Federal High Court to stop the inauguration of the President-elect. The plaintiffs requested a court order prohibiting Chief Justice Olukayode Ariwola of Nigeria, any other judicial officer, and or any other authority or person from swearing in any candidates for president or vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria until it is definitely pardon until it is definitively determined by the courts or in accordance with the Constitution's provisions that such candidates is ineligible. As part of their requests, the court must rule that the plaintiffs and other FCT residents have a legal interest and constitutional right to be heard on the question of whether a president-elect must secure at least 25% of the vote cast on the first ballot box in the FCT Abuja. A statement that no state in the nation may serve as the FCT for more than one proposal, including those made in accordance with Section 134, Subsection 2B of the Constitution. A declaration that no candidate in the country's presidential election on February 25 may validly be declared elected president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria unless that candidate receives at least 25% of the votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. A declaration that no candidate for the president in the February 25 presidential election may be validly sworn in as president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Unless such candidate receives 25% of the vote cast in the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. According to the court documents, a declaration that His Excellency Momo Dubuari, GCON, as President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Its term of office subsists and endures in accordance with the provisions of Section 135, Subsection 1A of the Constitution after the February 25 presidential election and until its successor is determined in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution and sworn in. The suits marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 578 slash 2023 urged the courts to stop the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayo de Ariola, 
and any, any other judicial officer and or any other authority or person from swearing in any candidates in the February 25 presidential election as president or vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The five applicants are Anyo Egbom Okoye, David Adza, Jeffrey Uche, Oshang Paul, and Chukwe Buke Unwanchuku identified themselves as registered voters of the FCT. So those five residents are actually claiming that they, the swearing in of the president-elect and the vice president-elect should not hold based on the fact that the electoral law said that as a president-elect and vice as a president-elect you must have 25 percent votes counts in the states and fct and remember that ashwaji bola Betinubu did not have 25 percent in the fct so why do you proclaim him as the president-elect so they want the tribunal to courts to tell nigerians what that 25 percent actually means whether it is for all the states or only fct a declaration that no candidates in the fed in the election will be validly declared elect president without the candidate obtaining at least 25 percent of the votes cast in the fct abuja and now the INEC has gone against this so those five applicants are saying no it cannot stand that the swearing in will not commence until they do justice to this and make nigerians to see clearly the presidential election in this country as having been elected save and except it is judicially determined with penalty that can't the such candidate fulfill the conditions stated in section 134 subsection 2b of the constitution we have come to the end of the news. What's your take to this? Do you think Tinubu will not be sworn in? Or the tribunal will actually say that 25% vote count is all the state including FCT, not FCT standing in one side? Kindly share your comments in the comment section.